My goodness. Did y'all really like the first film so much that the creators felt like we needed another one? If you like this type of content, go ahead and drop a like on this video and click that subscribe button. Smack that notification bell so you won't miss a new upload. What's happening? I'm Purple Boy and you guys are tuning in to Purple Film. Hey, before I get into my thoughts for Meet the Blacks 2, go in the comments and let me know if you've seen this movie, right? Did you even know this movie was coming out? It's another one of those movies where it just came out of nowhere. Nobody knew shit about it. <laughs> but if you have seen it, right, uh, go in the comments and let your boy know what did you think of it. On a scale from 1 to 10, what would you rate this movie, uh, right? Leave your little short review in the comments below. Go follow your boy on social media. I'm on the Twitters, the Facebook, and the Instagrams, right? And every movie can't get a video review, so also follow your boy on Letterboxd as well now let's go ahead and get into my thoughts for meet the blacks 2 the house next door <laughs> i'm gonna give you the good the bad and my final thoughts little duval is hilarious man i really like this comedian he has like an extensive list and like a bunch of uh black indie comedies that i have not seen because most of them aren't really good but little duval is hilarious if you've ever had a chance to watch some of his stand-up then you'll know what i'm talking about and i think he was the funniest person in this movie he had most of the funniest lines right uh when it came to him and uh mike epps's chemistry in the movie uh he would kind of step it up a bit uh step up the laughs uh you know up a bit to try to you know elevate mike epps game you know what i'm saying and so that was pretty fun to see how they would try to outdo one another and there were times where mike epps failed uh to outdo uh little duvall and it kind of had me thinking like you know maybe mike epps actually is a better comedian or funnier uh when he's not <laughs> in the presence of somebody funnier than him but uh, when it comes down to it, Little Duvall is going to deliver the most laughs in this entire movie. Um, Haha Davis is also in this. Uh, if you don't know Haha Davis, he's a social media comedian. Me and my brother absolutely love his videos. The dude is hilarious. Every time I watch a video of his on Instagram or Facebook, uh, I'm just laughing my butt off, man, because the dude has some really good jokes, some really good skits. I like what he's doing and even though what he does in this movie is pretty much what we've seen in his you know social media stuff it was nice to see him here and his scenes were funny so shout out to aha davis man i'm glad he was in this i hope he gets some more roles uh get another chance uh because i think he deserves it and also when they gonna get my boy kev on stage in one of these movies or something better than this uh and country wayne country wayne is probably one of my favorite social media comedians right now love that guy man hey call my boy up and get him in a movie asap man the boy the boy deserves it this movie is basically a bunch of negroes gathered around doing improv <laughs> there is not one piece of dialogue written in this movie at least that's what it feels like it's like they had a basic outliner for a story right they decided to actually do that you know what I'm saying? And everything else was just going to be absolute improv. So the story, just like the, so the first one kind of was a spoof off of The Purge. This one's going to be a spoof off of a very classic film, uh, Fright Night, which I love the Friday Night movies. Those movies are pretty funny in of themselves, uh, the old one and the remake. So go check those out if you haven't seen those. But they do a spoof of, you know, Fright Night. And I mean, you get the gist of the, of the story and what's going on, but man, the dialogue is horrendous. Like I said, man, these dudes are literally just throwing jokes and you know what I'm saying? Throwing jokes uh, and insults back at each other. And that's literally all it is, right? It's like they did everything in one take. <laughs> I'm like, oh, oh my goodness, man. So just as there are some hits, right, right, with the jokes, there are just as many uh, misses. And when they miss, oh my goodness, do they miss? And I'm just like, bro, somebody should have sat down and really wrote a decent script for this. Uh, if somebody did write this dialogue, damn. <laughs> I'm gonna need you to find another project, my guy, because they are doing you wrong by having you write anything in this movie. It was so terrible. 
I really expected the legendary Cat Williams to be a little better than better than than what he was in this movie. I think he would have played a great uh, vampire. He would have been up there with all the other black vampires in cinema in a much better movie with a much better script because Cat Williams can do good and be really funny when he's given the chance to or have a good director or good direction, right? There's there's just no direction, right? They just showed up to set. Director was like, roll the cameras. All right, y'all do what y'all do what y'all want to do. So a little disappointed in that. Uh, there's always going to be uh, those comedians you just don't like. There's always going to be those comedians you just don't like. Uh, Gary Owens and King Bach is in this. I do not like these two dudes at all. They are not funny, right? <laughs> they've said some. Uh, they've said or either have done some very problematic things uh, in their uh, in their past or not in the past, but you know uh, throughout their careers. And I don't know. I just don't like these dudes, man. Anytime they were on screen, they were not funny and they were just annoying as hell. I don't know what Gary Owens was doing. He sat in a wheelchair the whole time. Of course he wears a MAGA hat and just yells at people, right? Uh, you know, trying to be this racist dude. I'm surprised they didn't have him call a black, one of the black actors a nigga. <laughs> they were like, they were on the cusp of him calling somebody a nigga. I'm just saying. It, it's, 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 I, I didn't like the dude. It was terrible. Why did you have him in this film? Please stop casting Gary Owens in your movies. I went and supported this film in theaters because that's what I do, baby. You know what I'm saying? I support black cinema anytime, you know what I'm saying? I need to, whether it's streaming, whether it's a TV series or whether it's in cinemas, man. That's what I do. That's what I love doing. And I love talking about black cinema and trying to elevate black cinema and black creatives. That's what I want to do. And even though I'm completely shitting on this movie, <laughs> for those of you who did like the first one, you might actually like this one. So don't let me ruin your fun right you already know what to expect if you've seen that first movie okay you already know what to expect and this is going to be pretty much the exact same thing i do my, i do think that mike epps is actually good uh in a more controlled environment and so i would recommend to you to go check out his sitcom uh, that he has with wanda sites and uh man i can't remember her name right now but old girl from living single uh they have a new a sitcom that's out right now and was really popular when it dropped uh but it's called the upshaws it's on netflix right now i definitely recommend that go check it out it starts off kind of rough but it actually ends up really funny and kind of really you know heartfelt uh and it's very real as opposed to you know the black culture and being just bliggity biggity black you know what i'm saying <laughs> uh but yeah upshaws is uh pretty uh darn cool so yeah man mike epps is better when he's in a you know a, a more a more you know controlled uh environment but yeah man those are my thoughts on uh meet the blacks too right like i said before go in the comments below and let your boy know what did you think of it uh <laughs> drop a like on this video and click that subscribe button i don't know man if you want to you know what i'm saying if you, you want to click it just click it okay because <laughs> i got more videos on the way hey and the next film you watch i hope it encourages inspires and entertains Thanks for watching. Can you click it? Can you click it? Can you click it?